Hi guys and welcome to a new uh, video of a D238 MOSFET. Uh, this time I'm going over the placement of the sticker because, uh, well, it sounds relatively easy but a lot of people still have some issues with it. And so I'm going to uh, show you how to calibrate it and how you can make sure that uh, semi is on semi and auto is on auto. So most uh, most of the issues that you um, or that you probably will encounter is when you put it in auto, it's auto, and in semi, it's auto, and then in safe, you hear it beep that it switches over to uh, semi. So, uh, well, with this simple trick, I'm going to show you how you can uh, calibrate your uh, your selector uh, sticker. So to start off. Um, this is uh, the T238 uh, optical 1.7, but it works with uh, the V3, uh, basically the same. This is a, an MP5 gearbox, so it's a V2 gearbox uh, with a, uh, this type of tapper plate. It's not exactly the same as the V2, but the principle is exactly the same. Uh, as you can see, I've glued in the white paper that you get in this little package, as you can see here, you have a few stickers. I usually um, use, uh, or usually I always use a small drop of uh, super glue. So you just put one small drop of super glue on there and then you fold the uh, white paper on there like so. So as you can see, I've um, installed the motor on it. I haven't uh, inserted the tabs all the way in because it's pretty hard to to get them uh, separated again and then you probably break off the tabs and you have to resolder them and yeah, uh, <laughs> any job that you don't have to do twice is, uh, is perfect. So uh, also uh, a LiPo or any battery will do. So now the reason that you uh, insert or install the motor as well is because uh, that's where the sound signals come from. So it's important that you have that one so you hear the sound signals. Do not, and I repeat, do not pull the trigger uh, while the motor is out of the grip or motor cage or whatever because it will spin like crazy and you get a small heart attack. So definitely don't pull the trigger unless you want to test it but keep the motor uh, firmly or hold the motor firmly otherwise it will uh, jump around the table and uh, yeah. <laughs> It, it gives you quite a scare. So, um, well, again, like the white sticker is on here. It's totally blank at the moment. So, um, well, I'm going to show you what it will do now. Let me insert it in the gearbox real quick. There we go. So as you just heard, if I move the selector, that's the signal when it goes from uh, auto to semi and in reverse. So at this point, this is safe. So it's all the way to the front. So probably it's more like over here. And then when I move it just an inch or not an inch, just a little bit, there is the beep that it goes into full auto. So this is safe, this part is semi, and there's full auto. But as you can see, I have a lot of room here. So probably when I put it in the receiver, it's probably not going to work on uh, semi as well when I put it on semi. So what you do now is at least you know it works. So that's important. And what we're going to do now is we put it, uh, the gearbox in the lower receiver so we can uh, uh, see if the selector is indeed on the correct spot. So we've installed the gearbox in the lower receiver. So uh, we've installed the motor as well and also connected the battery. So what you can do now is move the selector to see if, uh, if it if it moves correctly or if it's uh, if it beeps when you move it from auto to semi so now it's on full auto now i moved it to semi but as you can hear 
or don't hear. There's no noise and now I'm going to save. There you go. You see, so it's pretty close, but it's not entirely at the safe position. So, or at the semi position. So it's still, I guess, just a hair in front of the semi. So we need to adjust that. Um, this way is pretty easy because, uh, or at least when you look at the selector, then you can see how much uh, travel it still needs to go into the correct position. So now that you know that you can remove the gearbox again, and then I'm going to show you how you, uh, um, how you adjust it. So in the previous video part, I just explained that it was just a tiny bit that the sector needed moving, but it is a pretty a big step because um, it doesn't beep when it goes from safe to semi. So the moment that I went from safe to semi, just before the semi, then I went to full auto already. So um, that's why I have to adjust uh, more than just a small part. So basically what happens is uh, the sensor detects or the sensor of the uh, trigger board the test detects when uh, the sticker is, uh, or when it registers the sticker, so when it registers the light, um, light white paper, or when it's register registering like black or darkness or whatever. So in order to um, adjust or kind of fool the sensor that it still hasn't hit the white paper, you're going to use uh, a Sharpie or uh, not sure how it else you would call this in English, but yeah, Sharpie will do. And what you want to do is um, basically when the uh, full auto is way too soon. So when you go into say or from safe to semi, like we just did, and it uh, registers in full auto just before semi, you need uh, a pretty big field to uh, cover that. So what you're going to do is uh, if you have the white sticker, always work from the left side to the right side. So what you're going to do is make a small part of the selector and the white sticker. Just make it black, so like this. And I've done quite a bit. Usually I go with small, small lines every pass, try it again. But now because it was that far off, I'm going to do a little bit more. So then probably like so. So as you can see now the white paper moved up a bit. And now if everything's correct, the selector, I'm going to try this. The selector will register, uh, register that there is no white sticker there still. Oh, just a sec, let's make this black as well, just in case. There we go, just to be sure it doesn't register. Okay, there we go. So, cut that one. We're going to be putting our selector back and let's see if it picks it up a bit later. So, going to put on the motor again like so plug in the battery there we go and now it needs as you can see it moved past the center and still did, didn't register register sorry about that and now it should register about here there we go as you can see almost at the end so we're almost at the end here, so there it is. So I think it should be good now, but we're going to test it again. So put it in the receiver again and test it out. But um, as you can see, it adjusted the position that it went from semi to full auto. Um, if this doesn't work, because I've had that happen once or twice now that the selector even though I painted it black, it still registered. So what I did, 
I just dremeled it out. Easy as that. So just use the dremel, dremel that little that bit out just from from the bottom here to the top just a little bit, and then just uh, work your way towards uh, a point that it uh, registers correctly. Um, if you have a mechanical switch, that is the best way to go. You pretty much always have to dremel it out because the mechanical switch is there and it registers when it goes into full auto. So if it goes too soon, then you have full auto in your semi and you don't want that. Otherwise you have to uh, either remove your safety, which isn't recommended, um, or program uh, your full auto to be semi or whatever. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions regarding the sticker or um, maybe I left something out or anything or you maybe have some ideas of what I should be covering next just uh, let me know um, I hope this video was useful and again uh, if you have any questions or you want to show off your build we have an awesome uh, Facebook page it's called T238 MOSFET Q&A there you can show off your build ask some questions there's a lot of information there so if there's anything that you uh, well if you have any questions you can always leave a comment on uh, uh, below this video or uh, go to the Facebook page and uh, yeah, have a chat and we can uh, try to help you out. Well, cheers guys and uh, stay safe.